If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer, football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Today, I have a very, very special video for you. I spent a lot of time researching this, grappling with this. I'm gonna talk today about gambling and GambleFi. I was brought up in a traditional Sikh family, so this is a taboo topic for me. However, I always like to challenge my beliefs. I always like to understand the other side. I always try to understand. And I went down the rabbit hole of gambling. So let's get started. Gambling, after I have made a case that gambling is not that bad, of course it is bad, uh, but, but please bear with me. I will actually give you four picks, which I think have a potential to 100x, 20x, 50x, I'm gonna start with rock solid picks and I'm gonna gamble and give you one of the riskiest picks of the century. And also, I'm gonna let you know what did I buy. In addition, I'm gonna give you the DCA zones, the take profit zones. So, because I haven't been able to make too many videos, bear with me, this will be a slightly longer video, but I promise I will fill it with knowledge, I will fill it with alpha, and I will fill it with analysis. So every single second of your time counts. Gambling has been going on since Paleolithic period, okay? It started in China. I think most of the uh, modern stuff in one way or another was actually invented in either China or India. For example, fiat, the money, the notes, they are all thanks to China maybe not thanks to China. In the earlier periods, Chinese used to gamble on uh, animals fighting, so cockfighting, uh, so on and so forth. But gambling has a really bad name, mostly because uh, most of the casinos, uh, gamble houses, they launder money. <laughs> it's this open secret. Uh, plenty of uh, Netflix series uh, on this. So who, who launders this money? It's mostly banks. 90% of laundered money goes via banks. 0.4% goes via crypto. And this is from uh, chain analysis. And again, the reason why money laundering is so difficult with blockchain is because everything is naked, everything is open ledger. It is difficult to falsify the records the way banks can easily do. There are many, many syndicates who control the gambling industry. Algorithms are in their favor. In the end, house always win, which is basically house is always right. Regulations are stacked against you. Algorithms are stacked against you. Mathematics is stacked against you. How can you get a slice? And the answer is gambling on blockchain. Everyone can see there should be proof of randomness. There should be proof of fairness. So I think once retail realizes there is a fair chance of winning something, they're gonna move to blockchains. By the way, gambling existed even before casinos. From China, it moved to Iran or the older Persian empire. There were uh, gambling places there. And then uh, major tourist attractions like Las Vegas, uh, Monte Carlo, they gave gambling, you know, its identity. You know which country is number one for casinos? United Kingdom. This video is not for people from United Kingdom. So switch this off, please. But if you're not from UK, keep watching. So where else is gambling going on? Uh, I talked about casinos. I talked about gambling houses. Where else? Oh, one quadrillion. It's more than that now. Futures and derivatives market. It's all gambling. 2008 financial crisis. It was all banks gambling on household debt, on housing market. It was all gambling. You paid for the mistakes of the gamblers. On blockchain, this is not possible. It's peer to peer, player versus player. Every time a crisis happens, taxpayer puts the bill in. 2022, it's not very publicized, but many of the energy companies had to be bailed out in Europe because they gambled away. <laughs> they, they bet opposite way where the energy prices will go. And many, many pension funds. Your pension funds are actually invested in these hedge funds, are invested in these companies. Overall, what I want to say is humans, as long as humans exist, gambling will exist. As long as sports exist, gambling will exist. You know, uh, sports betting. <laughs> yeah, UK is a massive, massive place for gambling. You have Betfred, you have Sky Sports, uh, FanDuel in, in, in US. It's, it's gonna continue and it's uh, billions and billions of dollars uh, of industry. Mrs. Coates is one of the highest paid CEOs on the planet. 
she took a pay cut of 100 million pounds and still got excess of 300 million per annum in UK pounds. <laughs> it's just... All right, so uh, what I'm trying to say, there is a massive slice of money here. You have to take money. So why not take that money? So who takes the money at the moment? It's government. It's not only ancient Hindu text, Arthashastra had legislation for taxation. They used to collect money off uh, gambling. So that is thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Las Vegas is, is probably an honorable mention here. They gave gambling uh, the identity. 50% of all legal age Americans have gambled in one way or another. Sports betting, fan engagement, online gaming, massive. And the uh, annual growth here is 15 to 20%. Of course, there are issues with gambling. Not a topic of today, but I think we already well know. The first pick, which I think is a solid uh, pick, it's on Ethereum. So I'm going to use Solana and Ethereum. Two tokens from Solana and two tokens from Ethereum today. So I think Rollbit is, I would say, the blue chip. Okay. And it has come down substantially from its all-time highs of about 26 uh, cents. So you can see here, there are beautiful charts done by a community member called George. By the way, if you want to have access to these DCA zones, buy zones, uh, charts, alpha picks, I will leave a link in the description to join our Discord where you will have various alpha picks, meme coins. We have had 100x, 150x actually on NPC. We had 200x on StrikeX and so on and so forth. Many, many amazing picks. So if you don't want to pay, that's also okay. Do follow me on Eat Healthy Get R1 and I post here often. And also all my uh, disclosures are here. Which companies pay me to write and produce content are always here. I will always declare to my subscribers. I, I will always be transparent with my subs, even though <laughs> very few of you uh, watch these videos. So Rollbit, I think is, is, is they have moved to uh, Ethereum from Solana. I think it's a mistake, but okay. Um, so the demand zone for Rollbit is 0 0.05, but I, I think it is already in the buy zone here. You can see there is a massive oversold uh, RSI reading as well. All time highs were about 26, 27 cents. So there is massive upside, even if roll bet goes back to its all time highs. Also guys, every single token I am gonna talk today has a burn mechanism. Some has aggressive burn mechanisms. Basically you hold the token and the token supply decreases. Part of the revenue goes back into the token, buying it from open market. I think this is the best strategy to actually uh, make a token store of value. I think crypto is a gamble. But I think the real use case of crypto is number one, Gamblefy. Number two, perp trading. And there are countless videos I've made on my perp trading uh, picks. And stay tuned, I have a banger video coming up soon on another platform, which I think will take everyone by storm. So you better be subscribed. So where can you get a roll bit? It is on Uniswap version three, a decent uh, liquidity, but there is a massive uh, dilution coming. Also, the fully diluted market, market cap is approximately 200 million. So again, it needs much, much more money to move uh, this token. The next token on my list, again, uh, from the sliding scale of safe bets to risky. As, as I go along, it will be risk, 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 so on and so forth. So winner protocol, it is, uh, I would say, in a discount zone now. It's the premium zone up here, demand zone one, I think it is in already. But again, massive, massive discount will be 0.01. We'll have a quick look at the, the circulating supply, but bear with me. I honestly think anywhere between uh, 0 0.01 to 0 0.04 is a DCA zone. I have actually bought this token. So just to let you know, I haven't bought Rollbit just because it's on Ethereum. I don't want to pay any gas fees. I don't want to, you know, just do first transaction to approve and then second transaction to buy and then third transaction to approve to sell and the fourth transaction to sell. So that's the reason why I did not buy Rollbit, but I have bought Winner. So fully diluted is a lot less than Rollbit. So there is a massive upside here uh, in terms of catching Rollbit. So where can you get a Winner? It's on Solana. Uh, Solana is cheap. Camelot uh, version three has the highest liquidity, but you can also get on centralized exchanges like Maxi. You don't need KYC on Maxi for now. You can also get it on Orca, Radium, so on and so forth. Always be careful of slippage maker fees and taker fees uh, when you're buying these tokens. Okay, let's move on fast now. Next token on the list is BXPT. It's still in around premium uh, range for me. So for me, the demand zone will be around 0 0.05. So if it comes down in these regions, I will be a buyer. I haven't bought it 
yet. Again, the problem for me, uh, for BXPT, is Ethereum. There is, I don't know whether this is correct or not, but there isn't much volume going on. But keep an eye on it. I'm hearing good things about it. You can, again, get it on Uniswap uh, version 2. That has pretty, you know, low volume at this stage. So, again, this is the reason. I did all this research. I wanted to pick two picks from Ethereum, two from Solana, and I am not going to buy Ethereum picks. I, yeah, no, no further comments, but it is, Ethereum is not usable, even though you have the ETF approval, but I'm bringing these picks to you. If you have liquidity on ETH, you don't want to move the liquidity. I think these two are good bets, especially if ETH pumps, they will pump harder. The final pick, which I'm, <laughs> I am most bullish also, that means this is the riskiest of riskiest uh, of the picks is something called Soul Casino. You can actually, it is amazing. <laughs> the, the, the platform is amazing. You can bet on anything from sports to anything you want to bet. Everything on chain. They burnt a lot of tokens. I think 3 billion tokens. I think they only have 7 billion left. So I've actually already bought it. So just to uh, be absolutely transparent with you. So I have actually bought this token, but I'm going to DCA in this 0 0.05 region. If it goes down, why I am giving you this pick? Yes, the video is about GambleFi. But there is another thing that is in play here. So you had BDC, EDF approval. You had EAT, EDF approval. What do you think will be next? EDF approval. Rol Paul is heavy into this. Many, many uh, Wall Street guys are heavy into this. I think Solana EDF is next. I might be wrong. These are, this is a gamble. <laughs> but if there is a Solana EDF, this thing is going to the moon. So nothing in this video is financial advice but I've just bought it. So again, the demand zone is 0 0.05. I have already bought it. I'm going to DCA in these regions, but you can see the, the charting here. Again, all these charts are available on Discord. A lot of tokens are still uh, to hit the market here. So you need to factor in that dilution, but uh, they have burnt 3 billion uh, tokens, if I remember correctly. And again, very, very small current market cap. Volume is decent, okay? So if you have 182,000 volume, I think that's a decent uh, for this token. So I think... For me, this is the riskiest, but uh, with, with most potential. Where can you buy Soul Casino? Well, it is a Solana pick. Solana is going to suck all the liquidity. It is a black hole, which is sucking liquidity from Ethereum, from Cosmos, and from uh, everywhere else. So again, uh, Orca uh, is, is a good place to get. You can get it on Radium. I don't know what this uh, Meteora is, but Orca for me is the place uh, where I personally got it. Okay, a bonus pick today. It's not a Gamble 5 pick, but I've been forced by my Discord guys to talk about it because they really think that Dimension has bottomed. So yeah, it was a massive airdrop uh, for me, but I think I, I agree with the folks uh, in my Discord that actually this is an amazing place to long Dimension or even buy uh, Dimension on the spot. So if Dimension has really bottomed, one of the best place for me is actually Nolus uh, Protocol. Nolas did not pay me to make this video, but I am ambassador with the Nolas protocol. So everything I say, take it with pinch of salt, but this is not a paid video. So as you can see, I have uh, some Nolas here. I have some uh, Axela USDC. As you can see, I have uh, close to uh, 1K in, in this particular wallet where I have about approximately 500 USDC worth of uh, leases. This in Nolas uh, protocol, you actually own the underlying asset. So this is not like your uh, Binance or uh, Maxi or Bybit where it's all on paper. You don't really hold your asset, but you can borrow up to 150% of your uh, supplied asset and you can supply in such a big range of assets. I think this is one of the safest way to long something that you think is going to go into a parabolic mode or will have a nice price action. So for me, that is dimension. And if I want to long it, I'm going to long it on Nolas Protocol. That's all I have to say for today. Apologies, it's slightly longer video just because I don't get time to shoot these videos. But I do want to know your thoughts on gambling. I do want to know your thoughts on Dimension bottoming. I do want to know your thoughts on Solana versus Ethereum. I do want to know your thoughts on which of those picks will you buy. Nothing in this video is financial advice. And I'll see you in the next video.